Hello, and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed 2 with me, the Biscuit Boy. Uh, I'm half an hour late, so I'll stream for half an hour longer. No, I don't really do. Equal that. It wouldn't be me if I wasn't if I wasn't late. Like, come on. It really, really wouldn't be me if I wasn't late. Sorry, you can hear me moving about, can't you? <laughs> This is probably why most streamers sit in like a gaming chair, so there's not much room for them to move or be able to hear. Uh, they're moving about. But I was. Assassin's Creed 2. Story mode. Genuinely picking up where we left off. Yeah, I'm back. I said I'd be back. I just said I'd be a bit later. I'm back. Hi, kitten. How are you doing? Doing all right? So, oh, that's great. I just saw it go yellow already in the, in OBS. Um, I was thinking more about that new TTV RPG, and now it's the afternoon one where I can actually speak to people properly, because obviously, I see what clients, but they're not here, fair enough. Yeah, so I can speak to people properly. The whole, the new TTRPG thing I'm looking into is one called Modern Age, which is based off of one called Fantasy Age. And it was actually suggested to me from like a TTRPG on TikTok. Because I've been looking into a bunch. Because without giving away too... Ooh, sugar honey, I Without giving away too much, the, the setting that I'm trying to find a good TTRPG for... Because even without Wizards of the Coast being cunts with the whole new D&D stuff, D&D &D wouldn't work. The D and D role set would not work for the setting I have in mind because the setting I have in mind has no magic. Because the setting I have in mind is a modern day, so it's like now. It's like the year, okay, not the year twenty, like modern day, but also kind of in the past. It's kind of sitting like the year twenty twelve ish is roughly what I'd say. Oh my god, my thing's going to fucking red. Why OBS? Why are you mean a piece of shit? I also hope you can't hear the noise going on outside because there's a bit of construction apparently. As I was saying, um, just say like maybe 2012, 2014 ish. So modern day ish. So obviously there wouldn't be magic or anything like that. But then it's also a new apocalypse. Like the apocalypse had just happened. Like the end of the world happened two months ago. Roughly, like game time. It would have been like the apocalypse happened two months later. That's when this game starts. So looking into all the different TTRPGs, to try and find one for a modern day, I was struggling for a long time. Because, like, the most modern-ish one I could find was, like, 1920s Call of Cthulhu-ish. Which could have worked with the things that the players were, would be facing. Call of Cthulhu-ish could have worked, but it also didn't. And then I, um... This building or the, that building that has a thing? Let me look at the thing. But then I looked into Apocalypse, Apocalyptic TTRPG set um, ones. And... Alright, so it's, it's the church, cool. And a lot of them are good and are interesting. The problem is a lot of them are like... It's 100 years into Apocalypse, it's 200 years into the Apocalypse, it's... There's mutants, and you can be a mutant, and that basically is magic, but you're mutants, so it's not magic, or like, there's different tribes and that, and I'm like, that's not the setting, that wouldn't work, and then I was on TikTok, and there was someone, um, showing off TTRPGs, and I, I had to comment on it, and they said, well, modern age has a, uh, sorry, fantasy age has a modern age setting, so I looked into that, and it's bloody perfect, I'm like, yeah, Modern Age is bloody perfect for what I want to do as a setting. Only problem is, is Roll20 doesn't support Modern Age. So, it's like, ah, oh, this is the perfect game setup for what I want to do. But I wouldn't be able to do it because Roll20 is a prick. So, yeah. He wanted to stop the cycle, to tell the secret. 
Shit. I've got to keep thinking through the headaches. I just said I don't know what I would do because as I say it would have been two months after the apocalypse so modern age would work because it has things for like modern firearms axes hammers all the stuff you'd basically use in an apocalypse um it has things for cars and bikes because obviously all right finding a car will be easy because it's the end of the world but the setting is most people have been evacuated so it's kind of like a ghost town and the only people that are around are like looters the reason the world ended and the players and maybe some other survivors who couldn't manage to get evacuated so cars wouldn't be common but they would also be easy to find it's just like does the average person know how to hotwire a car you know that sort of thing so having rules for cars was good that i found um the economic transmission of power without wires is all surpassing importance to man, but it means he will gain complete mastery of the air, the sea, and the desert. It will enable him to disperse with the necessary mining, pumping, transporting, and burning fuel, and so do away with the numerous causes of sin for waste. It will make the living glorious sun his obedient trolling slave. It will bring peace and harmony to Earth. Nikola Tesla. What do I have to do? Just... Oh, I just have to light everything up with the Tesla. Pew, 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 pew. Cool, I did that. Uh, Tesla's tower. Oh. Fight between individuals as well as government nations. Uh, oh. oh, no, okay. It just happened to have a quote from Tesla. What am I trying to identify all that? Probably. You found it in Croatia. What did he find in Croatia? Oh, the Eden. He found it in Croatia. They would find it. In Fair enough. Tesla. You fool of a took. Yeah, but as I said, Roll20 doesn't support it, so I don't really know what to do now. I don't know if I should try and go with that system and look at, try and find somewhere else that supports it, or try and find a system Roll20 does support, or what, I don't know, but... Yeah. But yeah, that's a project that's, like, in the back burners. It's not one of my main projects. Obviously, my main projects is, like, stream, YouTube, um... Yeah, my main projects are like Stream, YouTube, uh, World of West or Riv. They're like my main projects. And then things like this TTRPG project and Bear Trap and Claw are sort of like slow burner back, back end projects that aren't really being focused on that much because life. Did that work? No. Cool. <laughs> Did that work for a second there? No, okay. But, yeah, enough of me talking about stuff I want to do. How's people? How's mine? How's kitten? I'm still trying to play by Unity fucking controls. That's why I realise I'm getting fucked up. Oh, cool. There's more people. That's great. I'm glad you're doing okay, Mike. Smoke bombs are a little... Oh, that guy went flying upwards. Smoke bombs are a little OP in this one. Because I can do all that <laughs> with one smoke bomb. 
Oh, you're not getting away. You're not getting away, my friend. No, you're not getting away. No, no, no. You fought me. You're gonna die. No, not the civilian, Ezio. Oopsie poopsie. That guy, Ezio. There we go. Lovely jubbly. La, 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 la. You saw nothing. Nope. Yeah, you saw nothing. <laughs> it's weird being back streaming. Like, it really is weird being back here. I did have an idea of where I could use the webcam. I haven't tested it yet with the green screen or anything like that. But I did have an idea of where I could use it. There is a possibility that Biscuit would use it. So, it's not a waste. Um, because I decided I could possibly use it for drinking streams. To kind of prove I am drinking when people redeem drink and all that. Like, I, I could use it for drinking stream. Have you been drinking? Uh, that's... <laughs> no, game, I haven't. Not yet, anyway. Death to two of you! So yeah, that's the thing. No, slit his throat, Ipsy. I don't throw him away. Oh, he's dead. Lovely devil. Um. That is the problem with streaming that I kept finding where I keep running out of things to talk about. I think it does all come down to what games I'm playing, because certain games I talk a lot more, but I do find I sometimes run out of things to talk about. Especially because a lot of <laughs> the things I'm working on, I like to keep, like, secret. Because <laughs> I'm embarrassed by it. So, like, I've got a secret project, or i got Bear Trap and Claw, or, like, I've got Weird Zeroes, but I don't talk about them. But that's where I spend most of my time. There or work or babysitting. I did babysit yesterday, it was nice. Oh no, see, I've got time coming off soon. Which will also be nice, to have a bit of time off. Even though I only really just got back to work, but I want more time away. Because who doesn't want time off of work? Who likes working? No one. Except for Kitten. Kitten loves working. Kitten never stops working. That's all she does. <laughs> is work, work, work. <laughs> I know, trust me, I know. We all know all you do is work, work, work. Oh, the other thing with the new, t the new TTRPG that I'm working on is I'd have to find players as well. <laughs> I'd have to find players. Which is a whole nother fucking issue of just like time management and shit. 
I feel like too many of my projects rely on other people. But then I'm just like... But then again, I can use that as an excuse not to finish them. Because, oh, I need someone else to do this, or I need someone else to do that. So I, I can't do it. Edison. Access denied. I'll find the password. Okay. Four is one. Okay, so four is one. Dear Mr. Morgan, a serious matter has come across my attention. Nikola Tesla plans to use PE4 to create a information network across the entire world. And if it wasn't bad enough, he intends to allow access to it for free. Imagine the mass spreading knowledge amongst themselves in sincerity. They would make everything we intend to do much more difficult. You must cut all funds of his experiments at once. In case you get cold feet, I'll have you know... Uh, he wants to make electricity free as well, thereby putting us out of business. I've already begun slandering Tesla in the press. Just relocating his funding and I'll take care of PE4 myself. Thomas Edison. The Tesla was for the free and Edison was for the... Anything for danger of AC current by electrocuting circus elephant. He wanted everyone to know the secret, to set us all free. They used it to drive him insane. Dot, Call me right. Hmm. Two, and then I see two lines and a two dots. So I thought that meant two equals dot dot. But that can't be right because that would leave nine and three without a symbol. And if nine or three without a symbol, then it doesn't work, does it? Okay, so hmm. and then that way there doesn't work because it would leave nine without a symbol. I'm gonna have to look this one up. I don't know how to figure this one out. 
I genuinely don't know if it's because the only numbers on the screen is a two on the race car and a line dot dot on the newspaper, which would only would it, which would indicate that. But that only tells me what one is. That tells me one is line line dot, three is blank and nine is blank. Well, I don't know what blank and blank is. So how do I figure out what blank and blank is? So I'll just, I'm going to look this one up. <laughs> this one is dumb. Okay, so apparently it's this. Well, I don't know how you'd figure that out. Dear Mr. Edison, I wanted to thank you for letting me know, uh, letting me make use of PE for all these years. Among several things, I was able to convert the worker, convince the worker that I was raising the pay to five dollars a day when in fact I gave them a pay cut but I had to let PE4 go as per the structures I've shifted to Europe H has it so I assume the war will begin as soon as he can take over he'll let him have the fun his fun lord knows what kind of purge would be good for Europe and then end it with a bang as planned out of the chaos of war a new order will emerge I've enclosed a picture from Florida of you me and Firestone we should attempt to spend more time on the golf course this summer. Yours, Henry Ford. Nice, 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 nice. Um, I do need to work on some more law for um where sir is that's the new official thing we we won't be mentioning the uh thing that shan't be named so if we talk about the game it was it's either the world of where sir is and you guys are in the land of balton campaign and i am a gm now <laughs> um and we won't mention the things and stuff that shan't be mentioned. Yeah. Out of respect to other people. I do hope that Kitten liked the new little ruling I came up with that I like the sound of. Um, it just made more sense to me. Because I get spell slots and magic as a way to balance out spell users with other people but it never made sense to me that there's sort of like a limit to your magic or arcana or arcanic powers as it's called in uh, Wessera but the ability to tap into those arcanic forces even if you've ran out of a spell slot does make sense to me it just it sources you but your spell slots are more of like a rating of what you can do with ease and if you want to do more, you're going to struggle. And then Anton pointed out, like, oh, so if you do ninth level spell, you're going to die. I'm like, yeah, cool. Ninth level spell is normally like Death Word Kill or Wish, which are like world changing spells. So, yes, if you want to, if you don't have a ninth level spell slot, but you want to do one of those, sacrifice your life to do so. Leonardo. Mwah. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? 
You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! Be a screaming woman that needs help who will get us entering into Venice. Oh, what a magical assassin's stand. Yeah, I posted it on the Discord that um, the whole new ruling about spells, and then that's when Anton commented on it saying, like, oh, so if they use a ninth level spell, they're gonna die. But yeah, I did post it on the Discord. Um... I also read recently about something that I'm debating whether I should do it or not, which is someone mentioned that if you read the description for the cantrip prestidigitation, it says that this is a practice cantrip that spell users use when they're first learning how to do magic, and that he gives it to all his players for free, like a free cantrip, all his magic users for free, anyone that can use magic. So if you're... If you're a class that gets a subclass that gets a spell, you will also get Prestidigitation Cantrip for free because it's a practice spell. And I'm debating whether we should do that or not. I don't know. The ladies must like you. If I wasn't looking to impress, only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer. Auditore, but please. Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Like, because I know eventually Rangers get spells. So if, if Mike eventually got to the part where he got spells, he'd get. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I uh, took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forum, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Yes, and Mike would get the country presentation for free. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. Had I known, it's quite all right, my friend. Have allowed. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si, her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Yeah, I love them two together, Ezio and Leonardo. They're like best friends. I love it so much. It just makes me so happy seeing the two of them together. Oh, it just really does. And hopefully that'll be me and Mike when we play Unity. Everything alright? Better than alright. You're making amazing progress. Amazing is quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention, see if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. 
Meet me downstairs when you're ready. Get on like a house on fire, Mike. Would be great. You know. Either that or it'll be pure chaos, which you know, what's wrong with a bit of chaos? <laughs> I'm sure it'll genuinely be. This is genuinely what I expect it to be. It'll be both me and you getting annoyed at Unity for doing something dumb. Like it'll be one of us getting annoyed at the controls or something like that. Or just like the game not specifying what we need to do. Like it'll be the two of us just standing like, how how the fuck do we do that then game? Tell us. How what do you <laughs> <laughs> like something like that. Okay, tell me. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing it's gonna be. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get pissed off at the fact you die so easily in Unity. It really winds me up that Arno is a weak prick. What could 16 have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Oh, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as Sixteen says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. You'd feel like the Assassin would be having everyone in the Animus. That everyone would take turns to try and find out as much information as possible. What are you up to? What am I up? Who are you? My mum? I've been running traces on the Codex pages, looking to see if any of them are still around. And? Nothing concrete. Reports of one in the archives of the National Central Library in Florence, maybe a few in the hands of collectors, probably Templars. I'd send someone to check it out, but we're very short on manpower. How do you think the Codex wound up in Italy? I mean, it seems so random. Dante Alighieri by way of Marco Polo. Seriously? Something happened in 1321, yeah? Now, I'm still working on making the connections, but from what I can tell, Polo encountered the assassins while visiting Kubla Khan. This right, this must be when he obtained the Codex. Now, when he returned to Italy, he passed it on to Dante. Dante was close to him, if not an assassin himself. Now, I've no idea what brought the two of them together, but I'll tell you what, I reckon we could find out. I don't think Lucy wants us messing with the Animus. You're right. We've got enough to deal with. I guess satisfying my curiosity will have to wait. So, that is something that's annoying me. Sorry, I know I just said also that out of nowhere. That's something that's annoying me modern sense. They are hinting at. They are hinting at a different game there. They are hinting at a game where you play as like Dante or someone close to Dante. Or find out what people call it. They're hinting at it and you're never going to fucking do it. you get mixed up in all this? Most assassins, Desmond, are like you, yeah? They're born into the Brotherhood. Not me, though. Ah, uh, here we go. What? He asked. Anyway, I've always been a big fan of the unexplained. There's something exciting there, you know? A sense that life is more interesting, more mysterious than we've been raised to believe. So what, you just stumbled across the assassins? No. I found the Templars first, actually. Abstergo is a big company. It's too big, which means there were slip-ups, you know, like that mess they're having right now with the fluoride. Only I was tracking this stuff years ago. I must have been, what, 14, 15? You knew Abstergo was a Templar company? No, not at first. I just knew they were up to no good, and I figured maybe I could do something about it. So I started digging up everything I could on the company, posting stuff to news groups, trying to spread the word, looking for people who might have stories to tell. You must have gotten Abstergo's attention. Well, fortunately, I got Rebecca's first. Otherwise, I'd probably be at the bottom of a river. You're welcome. Yeah, she tried to warn me, told me I was messing with the wrong kind of people. And what did you do? I thought you were mental. But now you know better. Yeah, now I know you're just a bit mental. Long story short, I saved his ass multiple times. Should have dropped him and let Abstergo have their way. Listen to you, trying to be all badass. So what happened? I have a gift, Desmond. I have a gift for seeing things, making connections. Like your eagle vision, you know? Only useful 
We offered him a place with us. Yes, you did, yeah. The alternative? A life on the run from the most powerful organization on the planet. I decided to prolong my life. I'm eccentric like that, so I signed up. I've been doing research and analysis for them ever since. Best part is, I love it. I love everything, I love everything about him. What's this for? I'm keeping tabs on the other teams. Other teams? The Templars have been hunting down the peace All right. using the map right. they got you at Abstergo. Luckily, Lucy has provided us with a copy as well, allowing us to pursue them. And how's that working out? So far, so good. If they find even one of those pieces, we're gonna have problems. Oh, you're picking up on that, are you? That is why we're training you. Once you've acquired the necessary skills, we'll be able to send you into the field. And what about you? Why aren't you out there? I'm not out there because my expertise lies in other areas. And to be honest, I prefer it that way. But make no mistake, Desmond. I'm an assassin through and through. I've killed before. I expect to kill again. It's just that I prefer not to. God, seriously, at some point, Ubisoft, please, just let me have a game where we play as that man. Please, please, <laughs> please let me just play as that man. Oh. Hey, nice work today. You're a natural. Thanks. It's definitely getting easier. I gotta say, after all the crap I went through at Abstergo, it's nice to be with the good guys. Good guys? Let's not get carried away. What's that supposed to mean? In case you've forgotten, Rebecca, we're assassins. I can look it up for you if you like. Basically, it means we assassinate people. Only when we have to. It's a choice. You're choosing to kill. I haven't killed anyone. No, not yet. But what do you think all this is for, eh? You think Lucy is giving you Ezio's abilities so you can build schools in South America and deliver rice to starving Indonesians? What are you, Desmond, a vegan? You'd be the first vegan assassin in history. Look, it's not ideal. And taking a life is never easy. But sometimes there's no other way. Sometimes, Desmond, people have to die for things to change. She's got a point. But don't fool yourself into thinking you have no say. I mean, isn't that what we're all about here? Safeguarding free will. He's sarcastic little shit. I love him so much. He was in the use of fortune. Oh my god, yes. Perfect. Also, again, Ubisoft, you're bastards. Well, not just you, Ubisoft. But whoever was in charge and has been in charge since Assassin's Creed 3, I genuinely want to meet that person, bitch slap them and punch them in the dick, right? Because these games are building up to you being a modern day Desmond assassin. And then in 3, they kill him off. Pisses me off. Genu Sean has said it himself right there. You heard it from that gorgeous mouth. What do you think the reason he is in the Animus and learning all these skills for? And then we never get to do it. We never get to do it because the bastard who is in charge of Assassin's Creed now. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it into a whole big thing. That's cool. So how's she treating you? The translation software is still a bit laggy. You're probably catching the odd bit of Italian. Sorry about that. No worries. Sturgo's machine wasn't perfect either. And the subtitles? Definitely a big plus. <laughs> There's a little self dig at Assassin's Creed 1 where people did question, like, why do they sometimes speak in English? Why do they sometimes not speak in English? And why is there no subtitles? So I don't know what they're saying. I love that. I love self hating humor. I also love that. I love that. Everyone always goes, oh, how come if the Animus translates it into English, how come. Sometimes they're not speaking English. Like, how does that make sense? And that's the whole thing in Star Trek as well. Like, oh, they have translators, so how come sometimes the Klingons speak Klingon, and other times they speak English if the, if they're technically meant to always be speaking Klingon because they're the translators? Assassin's Creed explains it. The machine just isn't that good. The machine just fucks up every once in a while. The machine, the machine is translating. It just sometimes fucks up and doesn't translate. And I just like that simple explanation of like. It just doesn't always work. Because <laughs> technology is like that. Technology is finicky and doesn't always work the way you want it to. That is the world of technology. 
So then for them to just fully embrace it and just be like, yeah, it doesn't work is great. Can you clean your shirt, love? You've been here for a couple of hours now. We're going to see what you've managed to retain. Come on. I've been in that machine for a couple of hours now. You've had time to change your shirt. Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped. So it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. You've not activated the fucking defense system. I've... What the fuck? Mm. Uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. Yeah, like, how long have... Mm. How long have we been here and you've not activated the fucking defense system? I understand that... Well, I can't remember the woman's name. I understand the one who's on the computer has to be on the computer because they're helping me with the animus. And Sean is busy being the awesome Sean. But I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna debate that man. That man is awesome. What are you doing, Lucy? You're doing nothing. Go change your shirt and turn on the defence system, you lazy bitch. Oh I fucked up. Could you not give me hallucinations right now, game? It's really There's a ladder. There's a ladder. <laughs> Is the ladder cheating? So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be You see, done. another day or two, which means we've been here for multiple days and you've not even turned on the fucking defenses. Or changed your shirt. What is the reason for you? Don't I? Just... Doesn't do anything. All right, you got to tell me why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with sixteen. Ah, good old subject sixteen. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through, after everything I put him through, it's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. That, that's also another way that the game is hinting at other areas, because they, uh, they mention ancient Africa, and we haven't played the game in ancient Africa yet. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. Back to the animals and then I'll be our B C you lot can play with like the dragon and that and I can go to the toilet and stuff.
Look at this. Eagle vision all the time. No, no, oh shit. Leading the fact. Who the fuck's that? Who the fuck's that? I don't remember who the fuck that is. Oh. What the hell? Yeah, it's... What is this? Where am I? It's Akri. Altair. Not even in the edifice. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of. Mm, that must be his target. Mm -hmm. Where are they? I don't remember this bit at all. I don't think this was in the original AC2. I think this was part of a PSP thing. And then they added this into the. Oh, she fell. I don't think she was meant to fall. Where's she gone? Oh shit. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if this was in the original AC2. I think this might have been by, part of the Alte Chronicles in the PSP game. When they've added it in, I'm not sure. She is the target. I've kind of caught up with the game. Can you let me kill her? <laughs> you know, because, uh, that's his target. I'm like, oh, I've caught up though. Uh, they're going close, eh? I'm, I'm right up her arm. Oh, I forgot how great Altair is. Altair is great, it's the mechanics of the first game that suck. Maybe I should do some Prince of Persia. Do I have any Prince of Persia games? I have the remake. I have but I have, like the remake and the soft reboot. I have those. <laughs> Not the remake. Sorry, I have the hard reboot and the soft reboot. Get it on and then jump. Wait a second. Why aren't I following Alta here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must be. This is one weird dream. I mean, <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> that is very one weird dream. <laughs> That's what that's an extremely one weird dream. For anyone who doesn't know what that means, you are very innocent. And, um, you know, I won't tell you because you must be protected. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were. Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. Alright, I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. 
Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. All right. BRB. Um, let me activate the BRB screen, and then you guys can play with the dragon, uh, which is now the dragon again, called Biscuits, and not the other thing called Biscuits Backwards. Please enjoy. How am I still alive? Get out of here. How are you still alive? There, you're dead. Oh, this bit's like... No! Don't open it while I'm crouched! This is how you keep fucking me. No! Just leave the door open! You've got... I'm going to clench the motherfucker with dynamite in his hand because I noticed the last second. <laughs> You've got... <laughs> this is what I meant by this game. Like, there are moments in this game that are so streamable because it's just like... Oh my fucking god. I think you're going to be seeing this bit quite a lot, guys. Um, Because I can't fucking get past it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boom shakalaka indeed, Mike. It was just, I, I, genu I know I just said it, but it was genuinely the moment where my brain went, he's got dynamite in his hand and we're about to punch him. <laughs> this isn't going to go. <laughs> in that moment, he realised he'd fucked up. Yes. <laughs> oh, dogs need to fucking stop barking. It's really pissing me off now. I d how? He d they shut the door every time I get near it and I'm meant to get through that door. How the fuck am I meant to get through that door? I don't give a shit about you doing your fucking oh, I'm gonna sneak off, run up here, you prick. You do that all you want. Give me that lightning. Lots of clips from this street. Yeah, better, yeah, do it. At some point, I need to like stitch a bunch of the clips together to make like a trailer for the channel, but uh, I'm lazy. Back off! Oh, it's open, it's open, it's open, it's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, at some point. <laughs> yeah, I've got to do a lot of things at some point, Kim. At some point, I've got to draw this My Game Monday drawing that I owe you guys for the darkness. At some point, I've got to... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me too at some point. Fair enough. <laughs> what is opening and closing that door? Aha, you can't throw you, throw you down a mile, bitch. Get off my landing. Get off my landing. Get off my landing. Get off my landing. Oh, it's not working. Fuck off. Oh, just, just be dead already. Hello. Uh, I don't think you can get up here, friend. <laughs> I don't think you can throw up here. Do you want to try again? Yeah, I'll let you try again. There you go. <laughs> Get off my head. <laughs> Get off my land. <laughs> I've really got to work out how to get through that fucking door. <laughs> We're back, one and all. We are back. I hope you played with the dragon. And did your things, like I told you to. We're back. Let's see if he has it. Let's see if our boy Sean has any more sarky comments. Oh, no. No, I can't interact at all. Where's Lucy, the lazy bitch? Oh, there she is. Hey. Uh, hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just... gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if 
that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. Really, I'm fine, I promise. That's what I heard. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if that's a bit offensive. Or a lot of offensive. Back to Roma slash Flora. We're in Venice now. Venice. One of those places that I just... I, it's one of my dream places to visit in the world. And I probably won't ever get to visit it. Because the only way I'm ever going to be financially stable to... <coughs> visit... Oh, sorry. Tell me like Venice is if all this media bullshit that I do actually picks up and becomes successful. And if, which is never going to happen, but if that ever did happen, by the time it happened, Venice would be sunk. Because Venice is, is on track to be sunk very soon. <laughs> to be gone. It is slowly sinking. And they are very much... Aware that they will probably be gone by like 2036. Like, the jet. <laughs> Venice is just thinking. Let me get that viewpoint and that viewpoint, and then I'll do the mission. Because I've not got long left. I've visited a good few places in my life already, well, mainly as a kid, but I've still visited like a, you know, Spain, France, uh, Greece, Turkey. Scotland. Uh, I've been in a good few places. I don't remember much of any of them because I was a kid. Oh yeah. No, I've seen some of the world. And then there's just, there's just places I, I probably would never visit. Like, I would never go to America. Never. The more and more I learn about America, um, from people I know who live in America, I'm like, I don't want to, I, mean, I, I, I would never go there. What am I doing? I meant to just climb in, climb up like that and go around, didn't I? Yeah. Australia's on my list, I want to go to Australia. Why, kitten? It's just, again, I know multiple people across multiple states in America. It's not a safe or nice place to go to. Um, you know, talking to them about day-to-day -day lives and stuff. 
So, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Also, it's expensive as fuck. Oh, the oh, I'm fine with the poisonous things in Australia. I'm fine with that. Well, Australia, I, I want to go into. Down under. Most, I'll say, Australia and New Zealand are where I want to go most. And most of the media I consume now outside of gaming is Australian or New Zealand media. Even my news. Like, the news I see is I, I watch... New Zealand slash Australian news about the world, and that's how I learn about stuff going on in the world more than the UK one. Um, and then just, you know, even most of my TikTok is just full full of Aussie stuff, or some New Zealand stuff. The shows I watch are mainly New Zealand or Canadian. Um, yeah, the shows I watch are mainly like New Zealand or Canadian, so... Yeah, but Australia's on my list. Plus, I know a bunch of people in Australia, like, online and stuff. And I do have family in Australia. I have a cousin and a uncle. So, you know. That was no disrespect to people who like Australia, by the way. Uh, like America, by the way. That was no disrespect to people who like America and want to go to America. My, it was just my personal feeling. How the fuck do I get on top of this building? Oh, by the way, I know I mentioned you guys had a couple free, uh, a couple free days off coming up in an, in in Feb, and we could do D and D if you want to. But I think Anton said no because of birthday stuff because he's going to have multiple parties this year. That I'm not getting into it. Um... <laughs> How do I get on top of this fucking building? Uh, but the ninth is now off the table because I need a haircut. I've needed a haircut for like a month before Christmas. Uh, I'm, I'm finally booked to get a haircut next night. Maybe if I do this, I'll end up on top of the building, I hope. I don't know. Because I can't seem to get on top of the building. Yeah, so the knife is now off the table because I really need a haircut. Like, I've been wearing a hat everywhere I go. Like, at work, I'm in a hat all day long because my hair is that bad now. Use the door a lot. Yeah, hopefully using the door will help me get up there, Mike. Because, although by looks of it, no, because I'm going down. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Or oh, maybe I'm going back up. Maybe. I don't know. Where, where shall we go? And Mike over here, giving that. <laughs> Sometimes you need to go down to go up. 
<laughs> Giving out life lessons. Climb up, Ezio, you knob. And it seems like we are not getting anywhere when in fact we are. In answer to your statement from this morning, you can never have too much of that with Creed. What statement this morning? <laughs> ben. Now I have a way back up in case. Yeah, ben, 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 mucho ben. Mucho, mucho ben. Ah, oh, what's that, guys? My laptop did the thing it does only when I stream. Give me a second to open chat back up. Na 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 Billy Jean. <laughs> Anyone who understands that reference, you're awesome. Anyone who understands that reference. Billy Jean. You said you're not playing Rob Australia. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to play something else in between. It's like a little palette cleanser. Because, ah! It's the auditory. Because I don't want too much Assassin's Creed to fill up the channel. You know. No! <laughs> you bastard, it's you. You bastard. Yeah, um. I like to mix it up, don't I? Like, uh, I'm a variety streamer. I played a no you know, I played a number of games. I mean, the only time we went into a direct sequel was Evil Within. I think that's the only time we've ever got like <laughs> one game to the next <laughs> without a break. Is I did one and then two, didn't I? I believe. Every other time, I have a little like palate cleanser between sequels. I guess you have to play it then. Or you could just wait for me to play it. You could play it yourself as well. You should play these older games. They're all awesome. But yeah. But yeah, like... I'm only going to play one game in between. It won't take that long. But yeah, no, you should, you should play these games anyway. That's two people I've had say, oh, I'll just play it then <laughs> in these streams. Because I had Kitten this morning say that about um, that random game. I can't remember what it's called. Kitten was like, fine, I'll play it. And now I was like, fine, I'll play it. <laughs> so I had to play the, this after I finished Black Flag. What is that? What, have you not finished Black Flag before? Oh, I fell down. I'm going to die. Have you not finished Black Flag yet? What is that? I'm so confused about your Assassin's Creed timeline here, Mike. 
It's on the list covered up already. Yeah, I just can't remember the name of the game, Kim. Mike's AC timer makes no sense to me. A hundred percent. Yeah, I've never done that with AC games. I'm not really a hundred percent when it comes to games. Lost him around the thing. Oh, you just not played it on stream. Oh, fair enough. I don't think this is getting me to the roof, guys. I also want another Templar Assassin's Creed game. I want a sequel to Rogue. Give me more Templarness. Let me be a Templar again. I love it. You want Black Flag too. Play Rogue. Rogue is Black Flag but improved. Rogue is basically Black Flag too. You just don't play as Edward. And there's never going to be a Black Flag too. They've already said in multiple times that they're not going to do sequels like this again where you play as the same assassin. It annoys me, but they've already said they're never going to do that. You hate Rogue. Rogue is... is Black Flag, but improved. I don't get how you could hate Rogue. It plays the same. <laughs> the ruins. And Rogue has like the best AC story in so long. Nope. It does play the same as Black Flag. It does. I've played both. I've finished both. I should know. They play the same. The only difference is in Rogue, you don't get a four pistols. That's it. But then again, you get a grenade launcher. So that kind of equals out from the four pistols. I can't go bang, 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 bang. I can go... That's so stubborn, Mike. <laughs> Tried it, nope, never gonna do it again. That's what I did with Unity and Rogue, and I loved Rogue. Unity is still a piece of shit. Unity is a complete piece of shit. I hate it. Well, I'm playing through it. See, I didn't get on top of that fucking building. Unity is still in, like, my bottom AC games, even after playing it for so long. I don't get- I can't see how anyone can play that game. Arno's weak piece of shit, he doesn't fucking climb properly. And also, that's what that game gets rated so highly for, it's like, oh my god, but the climbing mechanics are so great, the parkouring mechanics are so fantastic. Like, no, they're not. He's a shit. He won't ever go down properly. Getting that man to climb down a building is like pulling teeth. So just go down the building, Arno, oh, you prick. I will admit, these earlier games also do struggle. Like, trying to get Ezio to climb up this building is, is proving hard here, but... But that's because these games have like a path they want you to do. Story was good, controls are shit. Which game are we on about here, Mike? Because we've mentioned a bunch of games now.
Uh, Ezio, just up. Up, Ezio, up. Up, Ezio. No! <laughs> I will return for you, Tower. I will return. <laughs> oh, Unity. I'm not even enjoying the story. I'm really not. I'm not invested at all in Unity's story. But it's each their own, as I always say. I not judge you for liking what you like, so do not judge me for not liking what I don't like. Oh, that man should be dead. I'd say this game should be done before the end of this month. Before the end of this month, this game should be definitely done. And I'll move on to something or another. I don't know. What's the time? Yeah, I'll do this mission and then end. Whoosh. Whoa! Run away! I don't know if I was meant to kill that man, but I did. Hey, Sarah thought for hours she was useful. Do the, Mike? You'd know more than me. Does you know the multiplayer stuff that we're gonna do at some point? Is there a story to those, or are they just like random missions? Or is it like an actual story we can follow? Just mission. That's fair enough. Still should be fun. You know, we should get some level of content out of it. Hello, boys. Oh, what are you pushing me for? I said hello, boys. And now there's just one guy to fight. And now there's no one to fight. Goodbye. Thank you. If me and Mike do this AC content, it will be the first bit of multiplayer content that I've planned on doing that actually happens. I've I've planned multiple multiplayer content with people. And yes, me and Kitten did do Portal 2, but my recording of it didn't work. So <laughs> this will be like a milestone for me. If, if me and Mike do this and the recordings work, it will be a milestone for my fucking whole media thing that I'm trying to do. It said that this building had a thing on it somewhere and I can't find it. Let's just do the mission, I'll find it another time. Unless it's higher up. Is it higher up?
Yeah, I don't... I don't see the thing on this building. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do the mission. Hey, Leonardo, my friend. Messer Da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno, e ben arrivato. I am Elvise. Senor Donna has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Come, I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is... there is... You were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. Stop, no, stop, stop. Let us continue the tour elsewhere. I knew the research off the stream as well, Mike. stole my money and it's here just let her that's bullshit can I kill this guy and here we have the Palazzo della Seta home to Emilio Barbarigo normally I'd suggest a closer look but with the way things are now why what's happening he is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner there's been resistance some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. Bajanate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop. And then, oh, we know who we have to kill while we're here. I, I seriously, I can assassinate this man. I'm, hard, I'm so tempted to stab him. Look, it says I can. It says I can stab him. It, I just... I'm so tempted to. I need to stab him. Just... And now I present to you your workshop, Sir Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You will see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla. Fuck! I didn't hug... No! I didn't hug Leonardo! <laughs> No, no, can I replay it?
Can I replay the mission? I need to hug Leonardo. No! <laughs> no! Ah! Uh, oh, I didn't hug him. No! I fucking insulted him. <laughs> oh, it's such a dick. I found this awesome place for you to explore and practice your skills. Santa Maria de Prari. I oh. marked it on your map. I didn't give him a hug. Oh. I'm gonna end here now, but I'm really sad that I didn't get a hug Leonardo. I wasn't I wasn't quick enough to press the button. <laughs> His sad little like it's nothing. I was like, oh no, my friend. <laughs> oh it hurt me. Right, so yeah, thank you to Kitten for being here. And thank you to Mike for being here. I really do appreciate it. A nice little return. I will see you guys next uh, Wednesday, and also Monday there is a video coming out. I believe this Monday is Dragon Age. I believe, I'm not hundred percent sure, but yeah. So enjoy that, and if not, I'll see you Wednesday. Goodbye.